Greetings, this is just going to be a quick look at the cluster chart by Quant Tower. Now what we're looking at here is a traditional chart. This is a five minute chart on NQ and they show us the traditional information. We have a downward candle here and this is how far it traveled and this is an upward candle as a little bit of a retrace and we continued on. But what if we wanted to know what's happening inside of each of these candles? Well, this is where the cluster chart comes into play. Up here on the right side, of the chart there's a magnifying glass. If you keep your eyes on the bottom here you'll see another row pop up with additional options. Choose this. Here are a bunch of options that we have. The one we're going to use right now is the cluster chart. Now it's going to change these so it's, keep an eye on it. It's going to take them away from traditional candles. Those will be the candles and then it's going to populate and fill these in. So we need to zoom in on this quite a bit and here's a reason for it. We can see the contracts traded at each level. Well, this is pretty good and this is the total. But what if we wanted to see the bids and the asks? We're going to change this type from single to double. And you can see right away we have the bids on one side or the buyers and the asks and the sellers on the other side. This is how they're separated. Here's your data types, your buys and your sells. It's currently colored by volume. So the higher the volume gets, the, the brighter the color is going to be. And the side with the highest volume, or the level with the highest volume, is going to be colored white. Now if we change this to, let's choose a coloring by delta, it's going to show us on either side the buyers winning or the sellers winning. And in this case we can see that we have a small amount of buyers up here, more sellers than there are buyers, and the highest levels are here as well, which is driving the market down pushing it down. Now we can see we have some buyer, some sellers down here, but the buyers end up taking over. We can see them building up now, but we can actually see sellers absorbing this candle coming up in real time. We can see it over here on the DOM as well. But that's just a quick introduction onto the uh, cluster chart. Very, very simple, very but very, very intuitive. And if we just turn this off, we go back to regular candles. We can see this is the last 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. It tells us a little bit of a story, but by enabling the cluster chart, letting it populate, it tells even more of a story. Hopefully that explains it well enough. Give it a try. Let us know if you have any questions.